Hello, my name is Kimberly Sanders and I'm with the Bryan College Help Desk Department. Today we are going to review how to set up our Stentura Protege Writer for real-time translation in Case Catalyst. So let's start by connecting our writer. You want to ensure that your writer is powered on and you have the USB cord connected from the rear of your writer to your computer. So let's verify that the writer is being registered by the computer. We can start by going to our device manager. The way that you would get to your device manager is by clicking on your start button, right click computer, click properties, and then click on device manager at the top here. Once you click on device manager, you may receive a window that will ask if you want to let the following program make changes to your computer. Simply click yes to open the device manager. Now that we have our device manager open, we see our Stenograph Stentura Protege listed under other devices. If you notice on the icon, there's a yellow triangle with a black exclamation point. This icon here lets us know that the device is not properly installed. It is being registered by our computer, but it is not installed and will not function with our system. So we simply need to just install the drivers. So we will do so by right-clicking this line, clicking Update Driver Software, Browse My Computer for Driver Software. Here we want to click on Browse, then go into Computer, your C drive or local disk C, Cat4, Drivers, and once the Drivers folder is highlighted, you want to click OK. That will place in the extension C Cat4 Drivers. Now we will click the Next button and allow the program to install our driver software. The beauty of the Case Catalyst program is that not only does it install the Case Catalyst, but it also installs the software for your security key and the software for a variety of different writers, one of which is the Centura Protege. So we will allow some time for the Protege to fully install. It may take a minute or two for it to complete. And here we go. Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Now there are some instances where a small window will pop up and ask you if you want to install this device. I want you to check off the small box that will say Always Trust and then click Install. After doing so, you'll receive the same message that Windows has successfully updated your driver software. So now that the Protege has been updated and installed, we'll just click the Close button here. If you notice, there's been a change in our device manager, and we have a new string labeled Stenograph USB Writer with the Stenograph Stentura Protege listed below. So since there are no yellow marks in front, we know this device is installed properly. We can go ahead and close out the device manager, close out our system properties, and then open up our case catalyst. It is very important when using case catalyst that you get in the habit of clicking your user icon. So today I'm going to go into Kim, which is my icon. So now that we're in my job, as they say, we want to start by clicking on the Translate so we can set our Translate options. Now that we're in Translate, in the lower left hand corner, we want to click on Options, scroll up to the top to Real Time, and change our Real Time Writer from Stentura to the Protege USB. If you notice, there are two Proteges listed. We want to ensure that it's picking up a USB connection and not assuming it's a serial connection. So we will simply select Protege USB, click Apply, click OK, 
and return back to the translate screen. Here we also want to set our steno source from file to writer. Output 2 should be changed from none to steno keys and then check the remember setting box. After doing so, we want to click into the file section and create a file. Let's call this practice and click OK. Now if you notice, there is a small blinking cursor here which indicates that my writer has been connected. There are other instances where you'll receive a message that says connected to writer stroke a key to begin writing. So let's test it out just to ensure that it's picking up a writer. And sure enough, it is picking up our writer. So next, we'll go ahead and close out this file by simply going up to the upper right hand corner and clicking the small black X to close the window. If you notice here, and this is very important, it lets you know exactly where it is saving this file. So that is your C drive, cat4 folder, user folder, and the username is Kim. Since this is a practice file, I will simply click no so I can reuse this file over and over again. So today we have successfully installed, tested, and set our options for the Stentura Protege Writer in Case Catalyst. We've successfully opened a file in Case Catalyst, translated into the file, and closed it. So I want to thank you today very much for watching this video on how to set up your Stenograph Stentura Protege Writer. And if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to contact the Help Desk Department at toll-free 888-355-1546 or by visiting our website, which is briancollegehelpdesk.com. Thank you again, and may the strokes be with you.